Uh, whether pumpkin, pecan, or pecan, or apple, the way many people end their Thanksgiving meal is with a slice of pie. But making a pie is no easy feat. There's a lot that can go wrong in the pursuit of a flaky crust. So we invited Catherine Zornashenko, the owner of Kate's Kitchen in Flat Rock, along with Gina Putty, a manager there. Good morning, ladies. Welcome Good to morning. the show. Thank you. This is a beautiful spread of ingredients and finished product we have here on the table. Thank you. So Kate's Kitchen is famous for their pies. How many different kinds of pie do you offer? We make a variety of cream and fruit pies, 15, 16, depending on the season. Yeah, is there anything that you only make at one point of the year? Strawberry cream, or at this time of the year, we only make pumpkin. Oh, okay. So let's get started. Uh, While well, Gina here combines ingredients, which uh, I have already spied includes lard. Yes, lard. That's got to be a key ingredient. It is a key ingredient. <laughs> it's delicious. Well, what ingredients <laughs> go into the pie? What are we making, first of all? The um, Just the pie crust? The pie crust, yeah. Okay. All right, as you're kneading the dough, tell us more about the The process. ingredients are, are basic. There's water, flour, lard, and salt. And pretty much that's, that's it. It's all technique. And Gina's technique is perfect. As you can see, she's made all these pies here. I'm going to um, move this out of the way. So if you need to use the roller there, Gina, you can do so. So when it comes to kneading and rolling the dough, um, where do people go wrong? I see you got a lot of flour on that board. That's one of it. You have to have a lot of flour okay. so it doesn't stick to your surface. You have to use ice cold water. And in what, at what stage ice cold water? Before it's this. Oh, okay, you know, exactly. So you have to put it in when you meet it. <laughs> Can you tell I know nothing about making a pie? <laughs> well, you put the ice, ice water in as you're mixing and incorporating the lard and the salt together. So should pumpkin or pecan pies be baked before adding the filling? We don't do that. The only um, pie crust that we par bake is the coconut cream there. That's this one right here. Yes. As you can see, there's the shell there or pie crust right there with the holes. Right yeah, there. you have an empty pie yes. tin right there with yes. the crust. Yes, that's called docking, putting holes in it. That's called docking, huh? Yes. Okay. And um, that's the only one we do. And then we put in the prepared pudding. Gotcha. Okay, uh, we have what here? Apple? That's an apple. And okay, let's give uh, Dick a chance to get the shot. Okay, so that's apple, and then over here. And that's pecan. pecan. You say pecan or pecan? I say pecan. And that looks like rhubarb, am I and right? That's or... a strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Now, rhubarb is just, it's sort of along for the ride, isn't it? Like the tofu of pies, it's like it, you mix it with strawberry so you don't have to use all strawberry? Yes, I, th I, I personally don't like strawberry rhubarb pie. Gina made me bring I, it. I love it. I don't so. like it, but she does. <laughs> well, my southern granny, God rest her soul, she used to make just rhubarb pie. There was, I don't well, recall was, her being. She must have been a tough woman. That must have been sour. <laughs> All right, Dick, can you get a shot of the lard sitting in the flour? I don't know if you can get that from your angle, but um, you, I learned something right before the segment. We were talking about um, Crisco versus lard, and I always thought the Crisco was lard, but it's actually shortening. How are they different? Well, lard is actual pig fat, whereas shortening is just a man-made. So Crisco's fake. Well, I don't want Crisco to <laughs> well, you said it's down man -made. on me here, but yeah. it's, it's, it's man-made. It's, it's, it's made from a vegetable or a plant. All I know is lard, and that's home-rendered lard, and it's deodorized, and it tastes good. Is and it, that's what makes it taste good. That's the secret ingredient. <laughs> well, I think it is. It's kind of like in everything I make, my secret ingredient is monosodium glutamate, otherwise known as MSG. Right, right. Or that pure is umami. what tastes so good, and then it combined with the salt, it is delicious. So Gina, you have a, an apple pie already filled. When it comes to adding a top crust to a pie, do you have any tips for the, the bakers at home? Yeah, so I already rolled out the top and then I put slits in it so that the steam can, the steam can um, be released. Okay, and is that also called docking or is that called slitting or I, I don't know, what, what is it called? I just call it Putting Slitty. slits in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now she's fluting. Well, I'm now tucking she... the top layer of the pie crust underneath the bottom layer. Catherine, how can people order a pie from you? You're in Flat Rock, right? Kate's Kitchen. What do you have available for Thanksgiving? We take orders for cream pies only. Our 
fruit pies are fresh, frozen, and unbaked, and they're on a first come, first serve basis only. All right, so if you live in the Flat Rock area, in that section of Southeast Michigan, you do yourself a favor and go to Kate's Kitchen, look them up on social media, call them on the telephone, and they will hook you up so you don't have to worry about being the expert pie maker like Gina here. Right, because she is the, the main pie maker. <laughs> Thank you ladies both for being here Thank and you. for the tips for and for straightening me, straightening me out on Crisco. Uh, Tati, <laughs> over to you.